The hit skip happened just before 3.30 Sunday morning here on Collier Road. The victim was walking when he was hit by a car traveling south. The driver's identity remains a mystery, but he or she left behind some important clues. Surveillance video captures police officers arriving on the scene of the hit and run, followed by an ambulance taking away Ray Hubbard Jr. The driver took off, but another one called 911. I got just passed this man. I, I, I didn't want to stop or anything like that. He was calling across Collier Road bleeding. Hubbard suffered several cuts and bruises to his head and serious leg injuries and remains in serious condition. The flesh was cut all the way to the bone, approximately two foot. Ray Hubbard Sr. believes his son may have been walking home from a bar and can't understand how a driver could leave him in the road like an animal. I feel that uh, somebody needs to be responsible, you know. I mean, this is a human life we're talking about. You know? This is my son. This is some of the glass particles. Lieutenant Leo um, Shirky showed me the shattered car me. parts left behind at the scene from the right headlight and fender. The parts came from a 2011 to 2013 Toyota Corolla, probably black, like this one. Most car parts have some type of um, I numbers on the back of them. You can usually run those through dealerships, through databases. Investigators are looking for any leads that could lead them to the hit skip car with fresh damage. I just wish, you know, this person would come forward, you know, to uh, show that they have some kind of concern. Anyone with information on the hit skip is asked to call the State Highway Patrol or Summit County Crime Stoppers at 330-434-COPS. In Copley Township, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.